Local authorities respond to a medical emergency that is linked to a murder investigation. It happened last night on the Blue Ridge Parkway. News 13's John Lee is live along the parkway. John, the road was closed to traffic until late this morning, right? That's right. About 7 p.m. last night, someone driving past the parkway noticed a man with what appeared to be life-threatening injuries on the side of the road, immediately calling 911. Later, investigators realizing both suspects are tied to a murder probe. This weekend, authorities in Virginia classified two fugitives as armed and dangerous. Chief Ranger Neil Labrie says, as it turns out, murder suspects Amanda Taylor and Sean Ball were also a danger to each other. The male accomplice in that uh, suffered injuries at the hand of the female suspect. Sunday night, someone spotted Ball along the parkway between the 74 on-ramp and Hendersonville Road. Labrie says how the injuries occurred is still under investigation. We basically had visitors driving by um, that observed the, 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 the male subject on the side of the road um, and that he was unresponsive and called 911. Ball is in critical but stable condition. Later, the highway patrol tailed Taylor on I-40. After a short chase, she was taken into custody near the mcdowell Burke County line. What we've learned since then, over the course of last night's investigation and this morning, is that it involved two suspects uh, wanted up of, out of Montgomery County, Virginia, for a murder up there that occurred. The couple is wanted in connection to the killing of Charles Taylor on Saturday night. He's Amanda Taylor's former father-in-law. On her Facebook page, Taylor claims she proudly did it, and though she loves her children, she says the murder victim killed her husband. One of the comments to that post calls Taylor a sick individual. Chief Ranger Labrie says the FBI has taken the lead in the case. And because of the federal nexus of the property, um, the FBI is taking the lead on the investigative part of the case, and especially due to the interstate nature uh, that may be involved. And so authorities haven't really been clear yet about what Ball's involvement in that homicide may have been at this point. But we're told that according to a Roanoke TV station, Amanda Taylor posted on Instagram that, quote, if you keep looking for me, more will die. Both now awaiting extradition back to Virginia. Live here in Asheville, John Lee, News 13.